With three games to go, no room for any slip-ups for all teams in the hunt for those final eight positions and it's Kinghorn who sends it high for his first try of the season in the victory against Bath which Edinburgh finished that game so, so strongly they now look to simply change the angle again it's Schumann who carries Kinghorn chipping one through Mark Bennett's on the chase it could be the perfect start here for Edinburgh, and it certainly is. Yeah, absolutely outstanding. Look at Bennett there, he just waits, he's calm, he dives on the ball. But Kinghorn was the master. Schumann had carried twice. Bennett's through, there's no chance of anyone getting close. On the Edinburgh side, but it is in fact with Jesse. Venditti and Fusco to Laloifi, who's a real danger. Laloifi gets the path away, oh, and Jesse taken really high. Well, Glenn Young will be in trouble here because that denied a certain. Okay, it's pretty simple. I just assessing level of danger. Shoulder first, then neck. Yellow card penalty. Try against number five. Yes, I agree. Yeah, number five, please. It clearly delivered by Frank no, Murphy. Man. Sensible decision, do you think? And Luca Bigi. Does manage to hit Zambonin and quickly for Fusco. And here comes Lukin. Three in the tackle for Edinburgh. Now out it comes for Mitchell. No, fell over the tackle. They look to go that same way. Venditti. Oh, what a pass that is! Absolutely brilliant from Venditti to Junior <laughs> Laloifi. Carried the ball well. Look at this though. The step, the fend, the hit, the bump, the cat flap out the back. That's a superb piece of skill there. Look at that. You'd expect this from a fullback. Brilliant play. I mean, he's, he's look at that. He's given away the old one handed offload. Lalo Ifi's just been able to canter over in the corner, but Viditi. Pergos in the scrum half. Runs it himself, the space opens up for Henry Pergos. He's got Hutchinson on his shoulder. The pop-up from Pergos. And when Edinburgh needed it most, Cammy Hutchinson bookending the half for the Borough. The Pergos this time, the architect, and Hutchinson the finisher. Yeah, Edinburgh needed that. You can see that, they've been lethargic, Zebra have been good, but Henry Pergham has good break, good support by Hutchison. Substitute for Freddie Owsley. Also, Angus Williams has come on for Leroy Atalifo. A couple of alterations for the second half. Jesse, oh, what a run this is! Go! And the youngster's going to go under the post! That is a sensational score! Well, it's an unbelievable sequence of events. Look at the yes. offloads. It's, it's, even Laloifi, he wasn't short, sort of came off the forehead and, and across. And once he was in space, the cut inside, he left Kinghorn sort of re reversing towards his own line. And then he could slip inside. You, you'll see here, there's, there's a one-handed offload, an offload that wasn't sure it was an offload as, or, a, or a pass. And then this is the way. What a lovely, lovely arcing, gliding run. Edinburgh need to respond again. Schumann. Now it's Williams. No. Pergos calls for reinforcements. Yeah, those are the facts. Okay, well, so you can four, see red card. Marshall we'll Sykes' face as he was watching the actions. Four. And the heart was sinking for Marshall Sykes. He knows what's coming. It's a red card. For the Edinburgh so second row, up. they'll finish this game with 14 men. It's not That's the, the worst possible four-minute start to a second half you could have. Concede a try. Moyano's in an absolute back acre of space out on the right. Rolling. If it can get there, it's not easy to get the ball off those forwards at this stage. All hunting out the score. In goes Watson. Just to try and get that ball backwards. It's been well defended so far by Zebre, though. 
Another goal. And again, and this time, it is scored. Good response there. I just got to say, how much work does Pierre Schumann get through week in, week out? Here's it. Tomatamua with the pick-up, the former Tasman player. Cook. It's a risky one, and Bennett with the interception. Has he got the legs? Mark Bennett utilises the space. Oh, it's wonderful from Mark Bennett. Edinburgh have come to life. The check he knocked it on when he grounded it. You know, Jimmy, I think they want to check the offside as well around the ruck. Oh, oh, doesn't have to do that. Doesn't have to. Zambonin. Cook with the long pass as they look for some space, but there's none to find for looking. This time it's the short one. They dive low, and the try is scored. And what heart, what courage shown by Zebri. Are Zebra not being patient enough? Are they, are they being impatient? They just held on to the ball. Well, you picked exactly right. They just they hadn't been patient before, but look. Pergos. Edinburgh have to go again. They've got the penalty. Pergos. This is everyone, and Curry can't pick it up. There is the penalty. Jakob van der Waalt brings up a huge cheer from the home support. Edinburgh nudge themselves in front. The 14 men lead. They need to use it now. This ball's trapped. They'll do well to get it out of there. Frank Murphy with the blast. The ball isn't coming out of there, it is the full-time whistle. And Edinburgh have won a crucial game. And what a fight they were given by Zebre Parma.